Hello guys, so this is uh, part two of uh, lab 10, okay, in which we're gonna explore another version of the common source amplifier in which we, you know, include RS in both DC and AC. If you notice from the first experiment, RS was only included or uh, or counted only in the DC analysis because the, the capacitor, the shunting capacitor, this capacitor here, this guy, uh, you know, is open in DC. But now, and, and in EC, this guy will be short, so it will short it will short RS in the EC analysis. But now in here, uh, as you see here, this is open circuit. So this is basically not part of the circuit, either in EC or DC. So RS will be included in both DC as it was in the first experiment and now newly in AC as well. So since the DC does not change, we have the same you know, conclusions. We have ID 0.99 milliamperes, VGS 2.14 volt, GM is 14.1 uh, milli O minus one. But now let's see what, what will it change in the EC analysis. So let's draw again the equivalent circuit. So we have, you know, let's start with the transistor. So here is the drain source and gate, and here is VGS on the open circuit. Now between the source and the ground, there's RS, because this guy now has no value. I just I just draw it and keep it in the drawing. It's not connected, so it will not affect our analysis or our measurements. But I just keep it connected to show you it's just open, just small change. So use just a copy and paste. Same uh, same connections or same circuit of the experiment one into another project and not the same, but just disconnect uh, this shunting capacitor. This is called shunting capacitor. Okay. So between the source and the ground, there is our S now. And here is GM VGS between the drain and basically the rest is the same. So between drain and source, there is RD and RS. I'm sorry, RL. And here is VO. And then we have between the gate and the ground, there is RG, which is RG1 barrel RG2, 120 kilo ohms. Then we have RS. V signal and R signal. V signal and R signal. And again, RG is RG1 parallel RG2, 200 kilo barrel, 300 kilo. If you did it, it will be 120 kilo ohms. Good. AV, so where is the input? The input is here. So AV, VO over V input. VO will not change. Again, so the current is flowing from bottom to up. So the voltage drop is positive negative, opposite to V output, which is uh, negative positive. So V output is uh, minus GM, VGS, RD, parallel RL. And the V input is, the voltage between the gate and the ground, I'm sorry. No, the gate and the ground. So the gate and the ground, VGS plus VS. Okay, so this guy is equal to VGS plus VS. So equal to, it's a continuum minus GM, VGS RD parallel RL over VGS. And the VS is the current flowing through RS multiplied by RS. What is the current flowing through RS? So this current GM VGS will come here and it will not branch because basically here is open circuit. So all of it will go into RS. So we have the current here GM VGS multiplied by RS. So VGS will go with VGS. So we'll have at the end minus GM RD parallel RL 
over one plus GM minus. And let's see this two for a moment. What is this guy here? The numerator. If we go back to experiment one, this is actually a V without RS when RS is equal to zero. And if we look back here, yeah, if we put RS equal to zero, it will give you the same, uh, same conclusion or same, uh, you know, value as the first experiment. And we know that already, I think it's uh, 35. Yeah, it was 35, I think. Yeah, 35.25, 35 35.25 over one plus GM uh, is 14.1 milli and RS is two kilo. So kilo will go with the milli. Let's just remove here, just to keep it like this. Yeah, so it will be basically, let's do it very quick together. So 35.25 over one plus 14.1 multiplied by two. So this will be very small. It will be 1.21. So EV finally is 1.21. Very small now. Okay, so RS will reduce uh, the AB or the, you know, the voltage gain. Okay, so how about GV? GV is equal to AV, again, our input over our input plus our signal. So one to one, and our input is 120, 120, 120, our signal, so one to one multiplied by half. It's actually attenuation, not amplification at all. But this is what RS is doing. Okay, so one to one multiplied by 120. Oh, multiplied by just a half, and that's it. Yeah, point 0.605. Okay, so we know in advance what we should get. We should get numbers close uh, to this. So let's go now to the experiment itself and try to do that. Okay. So here is guys uh, uh, second experiment. I will just highlight the manual then we go and do it together. So basically here we have same circuit again only uh, the shunting capacitor C2 is open. It's not connected to the circuit anymore. So it will be included in both DC and DC. So you just click run, you know, and get the measured and theoretical values. You know, you should see that, you know, both uh, are very, very close. And also both are identical to the first experiment. Okay. Uh, then you set your uh, CRO to this, uh, to this uh, settings and take a screenshot and put it here. Okay, from the output and the input, and just to calculate the EV and uh, GV. Okay. One note here is that uh, this is actually uh, over. So yeah, let me fix this. Two questions to answers. First, why the DC values doesn't change from the first experiment, and why EV is reduced when R is included. Okay, guys, so that's all for uh, this experiment. And let's go now to the third part of the common drain amplifier. Here is, guys, uh, the common uh, source with RS. Okay, I run it already. Let's, let's now check the values of the DC values. Uh, again, VG is four volt, like what we expected. It doesn't change from experiment one. Uh, VS is 1.86, also doesn't change. So VGS will be four minus 1.86 will be 2.14, doesn't change. IDC also doesn't change. We're expecting based on all analysis 0.99 milliampere. It's here uh, 0.932 milliampere for 932 microamperes, a little bit off, but zero is small as well. And here is uh, uh, the output, uh, you know, 
the output voltage at that point here at the input at that point. So as we see here, as we, we, we saw that the amplification is 1.2, it's very small, right? And here is a proof for it. So it's really very small. If we compare now, so here is the output. In the channel A, it's 11.976, uh, so it's 11.976 over uh, the input. So let's now measure the input. It should be 10, it doesn't change, of course. Or, you know, yeah, it doesn't change. So it is 9.93, 9.93. So it's 1.2, just like what we expected or what we analyzed, okay? So, uh, and of course, if we wanna calculate uh, uh, GV, the overall voltage gain, we just remove this 9.9.3 and put the V signal amplitude big to big, which is 20 millivolt. So 11.97 over 20, it will be 0.59, you know, and actually our number was 0 0.605, okay? So here, it, here is, uh, you know, everything for uh, this experiment, experiment number two, and now we go to experiment three, which is a common drain amplifier. 